All right, y'all ready? <laughs> One, two. The Global Academic Initiatives is a set of programs that's designed to bring the outside world into ECU and take ECU to the outside world. This is a very unique course. It's something different. You learn so much more from this than you do from a book. It is really working. I'd say the class is a lot of fun. I, I don't think there's any better way to really learn and understand your own culture. We are the only institution in the U.S. Really thinking outside the box. It's also being a diplomat. You see a lot of the globalization. It's students learning about other students. I mean, it's good to learn about other cultures. It's an eye-opening experience for them. It's an eye-opening experience. It's just amazing that East Carolina is putting together this global partnership of institutions and faculty members and students from around the world. No one else has done that, not, not in this way. And so that's, that's an amazing feat. From the very beginning when we designed this course, we wanted to accomplish three goals. The first one is, of course, knowledge. Learning, learning about it through people, actually, instead of reading like, books about it, you know, you get, you feel more like personally involved. We also would like to, through this course, change the attitudes of the students so that they become less fearful of foreign things, of foreign countries. People our age, or my age, are, you know, doing pretty much the same thing, just in their own country. And lastly, we wanted to provide, even just for five weeks, a little bit, but actual working experience. So it's helping me to broaden my like communication skills and stuff like that. So we have the knowledge, the attitude, and the actual experience. And I think in this course, we've accomplished all of them. This project is perfect for interactive engagement on the part of our students with students like themselves around the world. It is built on our great experience in distance education where we've developed the technology to allow the same kind of learning regardless of the pedagogical mechanism. So we're very convinced that you can learn as much or even more uh, through this mechanism as a regular on-class residential classroom site. Our ideal is 16 students. Um, that way it's easy to split. The groups that then end up, especially in the group discussion, ends up being intimate enough that everybody gets the opportunity yeah, to speak. We're going to jump in and ask a few questions we have to ask before. And we um, do really require that everybody has to speak. By the end of the semester, our students have sat in a class and worked with students from three other countries and we try to make them very diverse. We have five set topics that we always do. Um, college life is the first one, family and cultural traditions is, are the next two, um, then we go into religion and meaning of life, and finally we go into stereotypes and prejudices. I've learned about how other cultures view us a lot more and it's a lot less positive than I thought it would be, but you know, it's, it's good to know what other people think and then you can try and change it at some point. <laughs> we get to see how they live and their daily traditions and what they do. Because we know what we do, but it's funny to hear what they think we do because that is a topic of stereotypes, so it's pretty funny. And the students begin to realize how many similarities they have with their partners in a whole variety of, of cultures. The group is really nice for getting a very vague, general concept across, um, but also nice for seeing some variation because if you're only working with one student in, in your partnership, you're only getting that student's perspective. Students begin to understand what the lives of other students are like through this kind of course. And while you can describe that life in a textbook or in a lecture, when it's relating one-to-one, -one, I think it makes a big difference. What does that mean? What is the symbolism behind putting the gutter on the single woman? Maybe uh, when he's the, the man that he's getting married, maybe it's that, that it's like his final, <laughs> like, the end of his life as a single man. Sounds like an excuse to touch that one of the last girl. No. <laughs> oh, that's why, that's why, that's why the, they can, the women can tell, no, 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 he won't do that. So he put the godfather to do it. Um, so it depends in the marriage. This class know? is a lot more hands-on. Um, I'm the one doing the research. I'm the one, you know, speaking and if I want to know something, well, I need to ask it. You know, if I if they want to know something, well, I get to tell them. One of the great things that happens in the initiatives class 
is it's a student's bond. They learn how to talk to each other. You get to know personalities more, I think. When you're speaking one-on-one, -on -one, you really get to speak with that one person and kind of get to know further in depth that person compared to when you speak with the whole class and kind of get more of a, a broad view of the students and how they feel. It helps with, you know, the communications like from different countries that people have different ways of talking and the way that they feel about certain things. You just have to kind of step around it and then once you once you in, once you're into it then you know that it's going to be it's going to be okay and you can pretty much ask them whatever you want. I think they're learning how to empathize with people from very different backgrounds and very different cultures. It feels a little bit like a blind date because you it's kind of weird talking to somebody who you've never met but you're supposed to learn like everything about them so it's a little more different than just being like face to face with somebody and you don't want to offend them. The faculty member at the end of the say told me I have taught for 38 years this is the most meaningful course I have taught. I think I gained a few relationships and I think it's a really good thing. So the program, which started out to be global understanding and which continues to be global understanding, now is um, reaching out in various ways across campus. We have grown from starting with the anthropology program to some more specific programs like in political science, sociology, international relations, and hopefully into business and education at some point. Our goal is to spread it as widely as possible so more students can take the course and benefit from it. Yeah, I'd actually had a friend who was also had taken this class and she told me kind of what it was going to be like and, and what it was about and so I was excited because I love learning about other cultures. It sparks an interest in things international. Only about two and a half or three percent of our students can travel abroad. I know that a lot of students can't afford to go do study abroad, either financially or they can't take the time to go do so. But after taking this course, they are more motivated, they try harder to find ways of getting some funding so then they could go abroad. We're committed to the quality of the educational experience, but if we can reduce the cost and still provide a global understanding for our students, that's a good thing. It has made me want to travel a little bit because you want to see what other countries and like the scene and how their cultures are instead of just uh, via Skype or like video conferencing. So it gives them a taste of what it's like and some do then go in and um, participate on study abroad programs. So I think the course is valuable that way. The people who come back to tell us that they will also try to go abroad and have actually gone abroad, it's 10%. I just met a girl from Australia and I'm looking forward to going to study abroad there. So much a source of pride for this university. We're the first of this kind in the, in the, in the world to do this. We now have some 32 universities in about 22 countries on five continents involved in this project. If you give students a worthwhile challenge, they'll rise to that challenge every time. I would say the class is a lot of fun. I mean, it, it's good to learn about other cultures and learn, again, like what other people think about your culture. And I think the way that we have touched students in other countries, okay, who have less of an opportunity than our 98% who could not go abroad uh, is very rewarding. A student said, after all these years, I now realize this is the most meaningful course I have taken. I'm not getting my PhD. When I get my degree, I'm going to teach. When I go teach, I will teach this course. Since its inception, ECU has been an entrepreneurial-minded institution. We've done things that no one thought we could do. This is one more example of a, an ambitious university preparing our students for a global economy. Now do a crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> do something. There you go. Straight into it.